Welcome once again to our Friday Reflections. This week we are looking at the third letter in the word journey, the letter U for uncertainty. The Bible verse I have chosen to accompany this is from Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Last year has probably been the worst year in living memory for most of us. Not only have we encountered this new virus, but we have watched in disbelief as the staggering death toll worldwide reached almost 2 million. Far more have endured its symptoms. And many who have avoided the virus have still suffered economic hardship caused by reduced hours, lost jobs or worse. Then there is the psychological pressure, the worry and losing some of our freedom. I think it's fair to say that we are all affected by the uncertainty of this. So how should we deal with this uncertainty? In the verse we have just read, God has spoken to Joshua, telling him to be strong and courageous because God will be with him. Joshua has been anointed as the new leader of Israel after Moses' death and he stands here at the edge of the Jordan River waiting to enter the promised land. But war lies ahead against an untested enemy. On their own, Israel have no chance of victory. They are outnumbered, they are outskilled and they are even outsized as Canaan is home to the sons of Anak, people so tall that they were considered giants compared to the Israelites. Joshua and all of Israel have every right to show uncertainty here. And yet, just as God promised, Israel were successful because Joshua was strong and courageous. He followed the law and God was with them. Although this passage is very clearly about Joshua and Israel, we can take much from this today, especially the fact that we can trust in God's promises. That never changes. When we face times of difficulty and uncertainty, worry and panic will do us no good. And some things are just too big for us to cope with alone. Instead, we are called to be strong and courageous, to follow God's word and to trust God's promises to be with us. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. Let's look at some of Jesus' promises. Matthew 6 verse 8 Your father knows what you need before you ask him. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. And Paul tells us in Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. I could go on, but the message is clear. We mustn't let worries dominate our daily lives, but bring them to God in prayer. Certainly we must tread carefully though. We must not throw caution to the wind, but we should also be strong and courageous. For the time being, we must keep following the advice that we are given. But the end is in sight and a brighter tomorrow beckons. We can rejoice that right now, people all across the world are already being vaccinated against this virus. And so, much brighter days lie ahead. Until these days come, 
we can trust in God's promises through Christ, bringing everything before him in prayer. When we do this, we will be better equipped to lead the lives that God intended us to live all along. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it is our first reaction to try and resolve life's problems ourselves. But many problems are just too big for us to handle. Help us to remember that in our time of need and uncertainty, we can turn to you. Help us to be strong and courageous, trusting in your promises, just as Joshua did long ago. Be with us, we pray, and let us know your presence as you help us navigate life's twists and turns. May your spirit give us comfort and the realisation that nothing is too great for you. We thank you that a vaccine has been found and we pray that you will soon render this virus no more dangerous to us than a common cold. Help us to put fear and worry behind us and live our lives safely, free from anxiety and full of love, kindness and joy. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.